of this land believe that mountain views are pathways for prayer. I can't help but resonate as every horizon of peaks provokes a deep sense of connection and inspiration. Remember the first stewards of this land, those who tended this natural splendor with awe and respect. He's cute. Oh, he's cute. He's cute. What the what? <laughs> it's like orange peels. Oop. <laughs> All crushed up. <laughs> it's like a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> the desert is so wicked cool. This is just unreal. These formations are known as honeycomb weathering and manifest in a great variety of patterns. The origin of these designs remains uncertain. Simply said, these desert landscapes are sculpted by wind and water, coming together in countless ways to sculpt the earth in endless forms. Water, a soft force that can carve even the most stubborn earth manifesting its creation between ice and fluid matter. Surveying the inner canyon's rim of white sandstone, one can read the contour of rock and witness the story of roaring streams carving the rim from ancient coastal dunes. I rested in its curves, melting into the embrace of elements. down to hear some of your favorite trail meals below, but until then, I'd say oatmeal is the ultimate jar meal for a hike. Still, it's always nice to arrive back at my kitchen for lunch. I love slow moments in outdoor destinations, to motivate productivity with beauty, catching rainbows in the clouds framed by juniper canopy. I often strive to see sunset somewhere special, but as an old lady with a bedtime, I usually don't last long before just heading to camp, but a sunset drive is an immaculate vibe in itself. crust out here be thick she beefy and that my friends is why we stay on the trail we do not want the crust to be looking like the trail so stay on the trail it is the foundation for all this other life this crust is so beautiful and bodacious bodacious crust bodacious plants dang look at those berries on this juniper she thick you go, mama. Biocrust is a cyanobacteria that prevents erosion, retains water, and enriches soil with rare nutrients like nitrogen. 
providing the vital components for a whole ecosystem to be born from a barren landscape of dirt and sandstone. It is the true foundation of life in the desert. It can take decades to recover from a single step, so keep your wandering to durable surfaces only. They cute. I emerged into a field of grass. The pioneers who persevere the harsh winds and sandy earth which render water the rarest luxury. They stabilize the soils of these desolate mesas, providing protein-rich seed for an ecosystem to flourish creating a foundation for more complex life forms from these pinyon pines to the jays that spread their seed. I just thought it would be nice to come and watch the sunrise at this spot and then of course like the eclipse it was almost full i've been getting into the park at sunrise every morning and in the past i've always gotten in before sunrise but i heard the road get busy at 6 a.m and all of the park facilities were already active like the entrance station the visitor center before the sun was up <sighs> whenever you see a park ranger i don't care when how where thank them found the perfect spot for sunrise, complete with a chair courtesy of Mama Nature. But there was time to explore before the ring of fire. The last time I saw an eclipse was over a decade ago amidst the red rocks of my desert home. Once again, I found myself surrounded by the same sandstone shades. The Navajo believe that an eclipse is not a time to pry upon this intimate moment between the sun and the moon. Finding a moment for contemplation and mindfulness I was expecting doomsday skies, but it was surreally subtle. You'd never know the sun was being eclipsed. 
The sun continued to shine, but the harsh light of day grew dim and a chill set into the air, an energy the wildlife could sense, soaring overhead in strange patterns, aware to what us disconnected humans could detect only with glasses and telescopes. Gang, gang, gang. He's thick. Oh, he's so thick. I'm sorry. A little pruning of your dead branches. 